Hello children, welcome to the science class. We have completed 14 lessons in science. Do you remember what did we learn in the last lesson? Yes, we learned about why we need a house and what are the materials we use to build a house. That was the main thing we learned in the previous lesson. Today we are going to learn a new lesson, lesson number 15. Okay, we all live in houses, right, the human beings. What about the animals? Do they live in houses? We all know many animals live in forests, mostly wild animals, right? Do they have homes? Yes, we are going to learn about the homes of animals. That is the topic today. The homes of animals. What do you understand from this topic? Most of the animals don't build homes, right? Yes, they don't build homes. But some animals like birds, mainly birds, they build nests, right? We all know that. Look at By looking at this picture itself, you could have uh, understood that um, birds build nest, right? Yes. And some animals like bees, ants, rabbit, wolves, they all build homes to live. Okay, we are going to learn one by one. Okay, look at this. This is a bird. You know what is the name of this bird? This is tailor bird. Look at the way it build a nest. They always use uh, the leaves to build a nest. It stitches the leaves like human being. That is why its name is tailor bird. Okay. How clever the bird build a nest. Right? Yes. Birds build a nest. When? When it is time to lay eggs. When it is time to lay eggs. Whenever it is the time for the bird to lay egg, that time the bird will start build up the nest. Okay. At other times they rest wherever they can. Sometimes they rest on the tree. Sometimes they rest on um, some buildings, window sills like that. Not always they build a nest and they rest on that. Right. Whenever it is time to lay eggs, they build a nest. Okay. Look at all these, look at these pictures. Some birds build nests in the trees. Look at this, there are many nests, right? Yes, there are many nests in this tree. And look at this, it's a very good one to look at, right? This is another one, nest. And look at this, it looks very beautiful. It is a round one, it is a molded one. It looks very pretty, right? The bird build a nest in a very beautiful way. Sometimes they build nest in different places like this. Look at this. The first picture tells you that um, the bird build a nest in between the traffic lights. Signal, traffic signal lights. No? In that they build a nest. In this, this is the lamp, the old Vanarikan lamp we call, we used to call that. Wherever it gets a good place, comfortable place, they build a nest. Okay. Not alone on the trees. Some build the nest on the rocky mountain, some on the buildings. And sometimes they use um, ground also. Okay. Look at this picture. This bird build a nest in the higher place, top of the building. 
it will the nest and look at this this bird uh, we call this bird is marankutti paravai woodpecker okay they peck the wood to make a hole and then they live on that hole some birds use in that way look at this is a very big nest no yes one bird build this nest over the um windows of the building very big one right yes one person standing on that nest and take a photo and what are the materials they use to build a nest birds use many many materials to build the nest look at this bird it has some fur right some fur and some cotton like materials and uh, twigs what do you mean by twig kuchi mara kuchi chinna chinna kuchi that is called a twig t w i g twig okay they pick up the twigs and uh, look at this nest the bird uses the cotton right cotton panj cotton and sometimes they use um, these materials leaves twigs grass and uh, dry leaves all these things the bird the bird use to build a nest look at this bird it take the leaves to build a nest sometimes they use feathers and even pebbles also to make their nest so what are the things we have seen birds build the nest in different places sometimes on trees sometimes on the ground sometimes on the top of the building window sill and uh, wherever it, the the place is comfortable for the bird they build the nest and they use the materials like grass leaves twigs feathers and even pebbles also to make their nest next look at this what are these a big family of bees right they live on this nest a big family of bees not alone one or two or five or six but there is a big family in this nest right how this nest is made the nest is made of wax okay it is made up of wax and the bees make the wax themselves they don't get from anybody or from any things they make it on themselves look at this they all live in a group right they all live in a group and look at this picture this is the hive okay this is the hive where the bees are live the place the house is called as hive okay h i v e hive when you look at the picture closely the hive has rooms right it has rooms small small rooms the rooms of the nest have six sides yes you know what is the shape hexagon we call this as a hexagon shape hexagon means it has six sides okay look at this picture it has a hexagon shape and it has six sides the rooms of the nest have six sides and the bees lay eggs and store honey in these rooms honey bee look at this picture the honey bees lay the eggs on that rooms and they store honey in that rooms so this is called a hive so this is a bee hive okay inside the hive is there the outside it is surrounded by a group of honey so you are not able to see in that this picture in this picture it is clear you can see the hive very clearly next what is this this is ant hill okay you know how these ants live ants also live in big groups erumbu ants also live in big big groups 
their homes also have many rooms many rooms they also have many rooms but they joined by the tunnels under the ground okay so look at this picture the tunnels it has tunnels under the ground and some ants bore into wood to make their homes look at this picture they put hole and inside the hole also some ants will live and look at this we call this as a cells right sometimes it um, live in wood sometimes in ground look at this this is the picture of wood where the ants live okay and look at this picture this is a, this is the ant hill we call this as ant hill erumbu putt okay here only the group of ants will live and they all live in groups big big groups we can't see any single ant because they all live in groups we can see many ants in one place they all live in group and they bore tunnels they have many rooms and they joined by tunnels under the ground like this you got this they have tunnels under the ground when they live in wood no it will be like this this ant hill have many rooms under this look at this this is the ant hill and it has many rooms under the ground and it it laid eggs when you look at this picture you can understand it lay eggs right and it stores the food products in that some rooms this is called ant hill next what is this this is a mice or rat okay where do they live they live in holes we all know that they all live in holes in the ground and we call that as burrow okay not alone mice and rat rabbits also live in the burrows or holes okay rabbits often live in large groups and look at this mice they live in holes wherever it can make a hole and live it can it will live look at this a rabbit good one no it looks up under the ground look at this this is called a burrow rabbits live in the burrow each family has a room rabbits also live in groups and these rooms no look at this they make a hole under the ground and they also have some rooms under the ground they also connected by the tunnels under the ground and the rooms and tunnels of a group group of rabbits is called a warren okay this is called a warren w a r r e n warren w a r r e n warren so the rooms and the tunnels of a group of rabbits rabbit oda group walra and the room and the tunnels under the ground no adukku peru warren okay the rooms and tunnels of a group of rabbits is called a warren so rabbit mice rats all these live in a burrow or a hole under the ground look at this what are these these are fox fox and wolves they all use the homes of others they don't build their homes fox and some animals use the homes of others adutha ungal senju vacha or house la poi irupanga avangala or house seiya matanga okay some animals use the homes of others they don't build their own home okay look at this picture wolves fox they they do live in a burrow big one holes but they don't build they use the animals of others use the homes of other animals look at this picture what is this can you can you find a, a owl sitting over there yes it's an owl owls also use the nest of other birds they don't build the nest okay look at these owls 
these type of owls you can find in the foreign countries not here our indian owl will be looking like this okay it will be like this we can find this type of owls here okay these owls use the nest of other birds they don't build their own nest and what is this this is not a crow okay look at the eye the eye is red in color this bird's name is quail k o e l quail okay quails this bird lay their eggs in the nest of crows crow de nest vandu the quail bird use pannikum ana the quail bird nest kattadu quail doesn't build the nest on their own they use the nest of crows look at this they use the nest of crows this is the crow's nest they use the nest of crows so quail don't build the nest on their own and the owls also don't build the nest on their own they all use the nest of other birds look at this by looking at this picture what do you remember what comes into your mind this is a den what animal they uh, live in yes lions wolves and many wild animals live in this den we all know that right yes wild animals find a safe place for their younger ones look at this a big lion is sleeping inside the den right sometimes it may be in the cave sometimes under the under the bushes and under the tunnels like this um, they build they have a den and lions keep their younger ones in the safer place and these homes are called lairs or dens lairs or dens l a i r s lairs or dens d e n s dens so lions wolves and many wild animals live in these type of homes this is called den so what and all we have seen in this lesson we have learned about the materials birds use to build the nest and honey bees they use wax to build their hive and that wax they produce on themselves and that hive has many rooms their rooms have six sides it is in hexagon shape it has six sides and it is called hive and then we have learned about ant hill ants also live in big groups and they have many rooms and tunnels joined under the ground and they bore wood they bore ants also bore into wood to make their homes and rabbits mice rats also live in groups and they live in holes or burrows and these rooms and tunnels of a group of uh, rabbits is called warren rabbit oda group of walra and the tunnel ku peru warren and some animals use the homes of others like fox owls quails all these doesn't uh, build the homes for their own they use the others uh, nest or homes and lions wolves and many wild animals live in the den these are all the things we learned in this lesson hope you understood all the things i taught you in this lesson read the lesson carefully and understand with the video we will see in the next session thank you children